everybody? I've been up a while. Uh, planned on making this video about 8 a.m. and then this happened. So now we're out here, we're gonna try it again. What I want you to know before you watch this, there are many, many, many different variables you've gotta take into account when you're talking about a $25 raised bed. I'm using pine straight from your big box store. Okay, I'm using two by eights uh, instead of two by 12s. Depending on the soil where you're at, you can get away with something even shallower, uh, meaning your, your raised bed doesn't even have to be as, as deep as a two by eight. So many birds. The other variables are, do you have a truck? You wanna do a whole lot of work? You know, I ran over to our local uh, nursery here in town and they wanted $25 for a scoop of dirt in the back of my truck. It's a little high. Come here. Everybody see Cabela so we can finish making the video. All right, Vominos. Come on, all right, Vominos. Now she gotta go though, cause her nickname's Diggy Diggerson. I don't need her in my garden. The good news is she can't jump though, so we're not gonna need a tall fence. But anyway, uh, $25 for a scoop of dirt. It's not, it's not too bad, depending on the dirt. Uh, and depending on the dirt that you've got in your area. Fortunate enough that when they built these houses out here in our neighborhood, there's almost two feet of good black dirt underneath each one of my raised bed. So that's a variable I get to have to my advantage. However, if you don't have a truck, where this video is gonna help you is I bought this dirt in a bag from the local big box. I bought this untreated pine from the local big box. I've got a saw, so I didn't need to have the store cut them, but you can, so there's money that you saved. You don't need to buy a saw. Let's uh, get going here. To qualify for the $25 budget raised bed, this is what I'm going to link below. Instead of putting cardboard down as a weed barrier, which should be free, we should all have plenty of cardboard laying around or should be able to find some. I am going to use as my weed barrier some leftover straw from when we had the cows here. You got to open up, buddy. Hey, can you open up for me? I'm trying to give it to you. <laughs> Hold still. There you go. I'm gonna put that in the bottom of the bed. So you guys use whatever you have. If you guys came over from the row by row show with Haas tools, now we had no idea that was coming and we're very, very gracious. Uh, that was awesome. We love Haas tools. We've made several videos about ordering the seeds and unboxing them and some of our highest viewed videos. Uh, they were pretty funny because I just turned the boys loose and let them <laughs> tell jokes while we do it. Cauliflower. Mm. I don't like We're that. learning new things. We're venturing out. We're gonna, brand we gotta broaden our palate. The heck's a palette? Hello, YouTube. So I'll link those up above, right? Her, right as Greg and Travis, you know, gave us that shout out. Greg Flat said, and I fully agree, and that's why we're doing this. What works best for you guys, or Haas Tools, or anyone else, may not work best for me. And what I do may not work best for you, and that's absolutely okay. I don't have 30 by 30 plots to work with. Is a yard that's 72 feet across about 55 feet deep. And I know that because I built this fence last year. Well, these raised beds are perfect for me. All right, so here's the important part. As long as you get for this build, for the $25, two by eights by eights. Okay, now eight doesn't actually mean eight inches wide and neither does a two by four. Four does not mean four inches wide. Yes, that's what it's understood, but it's not, okay? That's irrelevant for this build though. As long as, boards are eight feet long. I don't care if they're eight one or eight two, you just cut them in half. Whether you cut them in half or the big box cuts them in half, make sure you half them. There's that Lufkin tape measure. Let's give it another chance. It's supposed to be a 14 foot standout. There's nine. Nope. Nine and a half. I'll link it below.
So here's another variable, okay? Nails, screws, drywall screws. You could even put a ratchet strap around it and just hold it, okay? So you gotta find something to hold these together. All right? I've even seen people use cinder blocks or rocks that they had laying around their yard. Just for reference, because I know y'all are gonna ask, I've added enough straw to make it about four inches deep before adding my dirt. So pretty cool, $25 raised beds. Now if you wanted to get super fancy, you could eliminate one side right here. So then maybe what you could do is stagger this, eliminate this board and use half of that to create another raised bed. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. You can see how fancy you can get. See, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175 there down on the end. And then the little short one. You gotta make your own sound effects. But the little short one is just kind of a bonus. Add some leftover dirt, extra two by fours, two by eights, whatever. Just plant plants there that need to be shallower. Now you might be thinking, man, how long is that untreated pine gonna last? Well, that's completely relevant to where you live and what you put in it, okay? If you put something in here that needs a ton of water, it's not gonna last as long. Red cedar is the way to go, but it is expensive. Uh, we're talking about a $25 raised bed. I built a bench for a friend of mine that sits outside in our backyard, no plants on it, nothing like that. Never been treated, never been stained, made out of the same pine right here. It's been out there for four years, still as strong as the day I built it. Now it's dirty, it's weathered. It just depends on where you live and where it's at. It's all relative to what you gotta work with, okay? And by the way, I'm not trying to look cool with this knife. <laughs> on a YouTube channel one time, I was looking at uh, this gardener, this old boy, he said, man, I leave my tools outside just Stick them in that or leave them standing straight up like my shovels and that way they won't rust. I can't find his YouTube channel anymore. <laughs> anyway, there you go. And the other thing too is if you're growing something that needs a trellis like, you know, a uh, cage like tomatoes or okra or something like that, yeah, you're going to have a little bit more money invested in the actual $25 bed, but this is just to get you started and it will work. Okay. You don't have to be handy. All I was doing was screwing in or nailing in a couple of boards, but just do what works best for you. Well, you know what's happening next and you know what seeds I'm using. But the point of this video is $25 raised bed. Have fun, grow something. <laughs>